Okay, chat is minimized. I'll check in after I get the puzzle on. Okay, so, oh wait, actually first I'm gonna make sure that it looks correctly. Okay, chat is minimized. Okay, here we go. I think if I get this one right, it's a new, yeah, it's a, it'll be a new personal best, so. Let's see. Find the best move for black. We're kind of out of the opening. Um, in fact, this <laughs> looks somewhat, slightly similar to the game I just played. Okay, so the, looks like there might be possibly some overloading of, of the queen, but the queen only has the one function. It's, it's defending these squares. So I'm wondering if the queen is, has an overload issue. In fact, Knight F6 is interesting because the, this bishop is only defended by the queen right now. Um, so yeah, I, I don't think I meant Knight F6, um, but uh, yeah, this is only defended. So if I played Knight E5, I'm attacking the queen. He doesn't have a greater threat, so he has to move the queen. And if he wants to keep defending this bishop, now my rook is facing that queen. So this is a really good first candidate move. Yeah, he has to move the queen. I don't think I'm... Yeah, I'm not missing anything. He has to move the queen. Okay, so does he have to play queen e4? Does he have to play queen e4? Or like... Could he attack something else? That's another way for him to deal with this. If I play knight e5, could he attack one of my other pieces? Actually, there... Oh, yeah, no, yeah. Um, I don't see that he can. I, so I think this is forced. Queen e4, so knight e5, knight e5 queen e4... Then what? Okay, I, those, there's a good chance those are the first moves. Knight e5, queen e4. F5. No, uh, no, he just, he takes check, right? Yeah. Okay, so knight e4, queen e5. I don't know. <laughs> I can't see. That might not be it, but it seems. It seems like it must be it. But I don't. I don't see the follow up. I mean, we could we could look at bishop, bishop d five. Queen d five. Oh, that's it. Yeah, like Sam Shanklin's, what if we do it anyways? That's the answer, I'm pretty sure. So knight e4, we're attacking the queen. The queen has to stay connected to the bishop. 
So the only way to queen to do that is queen e4. Then we take the bishop. He has no greater threats. So queen takes. Oh wait, sorry. No, our knight is still there. I was going to play. I was going to play rook e5. Hmm. I was going to play rook e5. Can I just not do that right away? Am I overthinking it? Is it just bishop? So maybe it isn't here. Maybe we just take right away. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, that, is it that simple? Is it that simple for 2450 at this rating? I, 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 did I totally overthink this? Okay, so let's see. Is there any greater threat? I mean, I'm attacking his queen. Um, I don't see, I mean, he's got a take. I don't see what else he would do. So takes, and then is it just simply rookie five? Is it that simple? Is it that simple? I don't see why I can't do it. I'm going to do it. Yeah, it takes. Oh my God. Okay, I'm going to open up chat. Okay, chat didn't say a single word. Um, in fact, a lot of people left because they don't like puzzles, I guess. <laughs> Everyone left. But that was way simpler than I thought. So, hey, new personal best on on puzzles. Um, what's that? What's that? 2562? 2562? 25, sorry, 2462. Oh boy, should I do another one? Hmm. I don't know why that took me so long to figure. I think just because it just, I don't know. I, naturally, this looks like it makes sense. But yeah, I, 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 I didn't look at the simplest option. Here we go. We are 2462. 2462. Okay. Let me sink in on this. So this puzzle was done over a thousand times, excuse me. Okay, let's see. We've got the bishop pair. Hmm, interesting. So probably some activity around here. This rook is hanging if we can. Okay, it's interesting because it seems like we only have two pieces to play with. Although there's action going on here too, actually. There's a lot going on. There's actually a lot going on. The, the main thing that stood out to me at first was that how these bishops are just dead. But there's there's two main things going on in this position. There's this, pins galore, and then there's kind of all of this action. Um, so I don't really see how this would help. Like, could I take, could I sack here? Um, I mean, because it dislodges his bishop, but no. And I don't think I want to take first because, I mean, he, he disconnects the rook. But, you know, if I move, if I move the king or whatever, he can just do whatever he pleases. So I, I just don't see that working. Sacking the exchange is interesting. Um, if he, if he goes F takes, we have this check. So, oh yeah, so sacking the exchange is looking interesting. Yeah, sorry, my throat is getting, getting weird. Okay, yeah, so knight G3. What's nice is that there's no immediate threats that we have to worry about. Like rook takes here, we can just go check, which would be winning. Um, so that's looking pretty good to me. Yeah, because we have that immediate that immediate follow up threat. I think he has to recapture. If he plays something like knight h three. I guess we would just take the rook 
and we would be up a minor piece that should be enough. I mean, our bishops are still terrible, but that should be enough because, um, I mean, see, that's still annoying. That's the thing, but that should be enough. If knight h3, there's also potentially that we just take here and then and then check. Um, but probably I take probably I would take the rook. Yeah, rook g3, knight h3, queen h4, fg. Actually, I could take here check and then take the knight. Yeah, that would definitely be winning. So, so yeah, this looks pretty good to me. Okay, so again, I just don't think he has time to ignore it. I mean, he could take here, but that that, that should be good for us. I think he has to take. Yeah, okay, so he takes. Okay, so, so rook g3, fg, check. He has, he's got three moves. No, he, well, yeah, he's got three moves because he has 92. Hmm. See, I'm not sure about the follow-up. Boom, boom. Oh, then, then maybe I go, then I go <clears throat> maybe bishop e4. No, yeah, it's hang on a second, because I, I did just sack the exchange here. Is this enough? Oh, I don't know about that. Okay, so there's actually a lot to consider. So rook g3, fg. Let's look at the check. So queen e3. I'll do the arrows for your guys, not for me. Okay, I'll do it without, actually. You guys can follow along. Rook g3, fg. Queen e3. Knight e2. Knight e2. See, that's the tricky move. His knight covers everything. Yeah, I think a knight between the king like that is so good. Knight g3, fg. Yeah, I don't know. Bishop e Bishop e five. Oh, but it is Bishop e five because then we're threatening. It's a fork. It's a fork. So Rook g So Rook g three, f g, and then Bishop e five is a fork on this g three square and on the queen. So. I guess he could play like rook h5. But then I have check and then I win the queen. So that's out. I think this is it though. Rook g3, f, g, and then bishop e5. Um, and if, if he plays, if he, go, if he gets frisky with queen a7, then we have check, um, and yeah, that's just that has to be good. Let's say check. Let's say king somewhere. Um, yeah, we take. He takes a pawn. I just that just has to be good for us. So I'm going to go for this. So boom, boom, and boom. Hey, another personal best. Opening up chat. Still nobody talking in chat. Feels bad, man. Um, Ten points for that one. That was rated twenty four forty nine. 10 points for that bad boy. 2472 is my new rating. Another new personal best. Let me update the stream title again. Okay. Do I do I dare try another one? Hmm. Okay. Why not? Why not? 
go to minimize chat. Chat is minimized. Give this a thumbs up. And oh boy, here's another one played by an IM. This was done 399 times. So if we get it right, well, or, or we get it wrong. Basically, I'm, this is the 400th attempt at this puzzle. It's an endgame one, and I've actually been doing poorly on the endgame puzzles lately. So we'll see how this one goes. Um, so we're black, find the best move for black. Yeah, the endgame ones can get extremely tricky. Yeah, the endgame ones are actually, earlier on when they weren't as hard, they were my favorite, but now they're, they, get, they get pretty ridiculous. Um, so let's look at the check. What's nice about the check is that if, if white takes, he gets off of our queening square and allows us to, to fork that square, but we might wanna go here first if this pawn was on b2, and then we took, and then he took, and then I and then I play here, then I, I could go into a knight against two pawn endgame. Although that could still possibly be a draw if his king can get over here. So this is this is very tricky. Could I win the bishop for free? Let's look at that. Let's look at that. Because, like, you know, if he runs his pawns, well, I mean, oh boy, that is a consideration too. But I don't think he'll be able to do that in time. I just don't, I just don't see that happen. I mean, well, he does get the floating square, but I do have a knight. So, okay, so I don't think, I don't think he can get away with that. I think I'll be able to defend. So, therefore, we'll assume that he has to, uh, I mean, it is close though. I mean, it's interesting, right? Like boom, boom, boom. But I mean, this, this, this should be, was a check though. It's scary, but boom. Ah, uh, it is, it is close. I'm going to assume we're okay there though. I'm assuming a lot. We're going to, yeah. So we're going to assume that he has to move the bishop. And then that gives me a fork right off the bat. And he doesn't have to take, he could like move the king somewhere, but then I'm going to queen before him. So this is looking like a pretty good line, the check. And then after takes, we have to take, and then that just has to be winning. Yeah. So the, the real question would be the, the, what I was looking at first, if he just ignores that and like, and takes you have a floating square but i think the fact that i have a pawn about to queen will make up for that so boom 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 like boom i i, I just I, that has to be it i mean i'll be surprised if not i won't be angry i'll be surprised i'll be impressed if that's not the answer so Wow, I didn't consider that. <laughs> I didn't consider e, uh, d6. Now, I might still be able to just take and let him queen. Yeah, well, but that, I mean, that's pretty, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't consider this though, so that, that's a failure. Taking on e4 is interesting because if takes, we take with check and then, yeah, then that, sh I'm not even sure if that's winning though. It should be, yeah, that should be winning. So taking is interesting. Hmm. Yeah, there's, there's also giving it a check first. Sorry, they're giving a check. And then if bishop takes, knight takes, and if he pushes, then I cry. So that wouldn't work. Boom, boom. Well, it would work, but I can't take with the knight. So I could I could give the check and then and then take. 
on d6. But I'm not I'm not sure if that's that. So this is yeah, this is tricky. Uh, so we could look at king takes because his bishop is still under attack. Um If he brings in his king takes his king will be too far from this pawn, so that has to be winning for me. So we could look at him protecting this, because now, no, I still have a fork though. And then after takes, takes, take, no, I'm queening. That should be good. I think it may be, I can take. The only thing I didn't calculate now was, um, was EF, but, my, I, I'll, I should be fast enough. Okay, I got it. Yeah, that was, that's scary. The end games are scary. I have chat open now. So I got another one right, plus seven. So just three new personal bests in a row. Pretty crazy. So what is that, 20? <laughs> okay, should I do another one? Hmm. Maybe not, because there's nobody in the stream kind of just talking to myself. And probably a good length for a video, three puzzles. So I think, I, I'm wondering, should I do another one? Oh, what the freaking hell, I'll do another one. Probably against my better judgment, I'm gonna minimize chat. Here we go. Okay, this one I could see myself spending like <laughs> an hour on. Okay, find the best move for black. I probably should have ended it at three. I'm pushing my luck now. <sighs> okay, so we're down two pawns. We have the bishop pair. So let's look at the most, there's two things that catch my eye. There's this pin and then there's, there's rook e8. The pin itself is actually interesting because I don't know how white deals with it. This knight is dominated by my bishop and it can't create any threats. Although there is a discovery on this bishop, but yeah. So this is very interesting because again, how does he how does he deal with this? If he moves the queen here, we can we can go check and then pick up the knight. Yeah, so that this looks pretty good. It's a, but the problem is it's the very first move I looked at, you know. So if I had played rook e8 instead, how would that change things? I guess he could play like knight, knight e4. And then if I try to do the pin. Uh, then, then he has this fork. So I think that's that, that's what yeah, but I don't know what he does about this. I just don't know what he does. Okay, well I didn't actually look at the exact follow up though, but so assuming that he defends it with the queen, unless he create like I, 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 Actually, I wonder, I wonder if he does, what if he plays this anyways? 94, because he's threatening this fork. So I would take. Oh, just rook e8 maybe? No, rook e8, he gives me this check. 
So I might have to take on e4. And then he still runs into that pin issue because after queen takes, wait a second. No, that could be a problem actually. Boom, boom. If I take his queen is now defending it. But I might have rook, I might have rook e8. Rook e8. Yeah, and then we're back. Yeah, okay, then that's looking decent again because rook e8, he has to move the queen and then we can apply pressure on this pin again. So, okay, so I think we've dealt with knight e4. Now, if he, what if he tries to defend the, the knight? I was just, oh yeah, I was just going to do this. So could, could, what about queen f3, bishop h6, queen f3? Sorry, our bishop, our other bishop is on that square. So I, I think this is the answer. And then, and then we go check. Yeah, and he does, he does go, this was the more challenging line. So he does play knight e4. And my plan was to take, otherwise there's this threat. And I think that was my plan. And then I was going to go rook e8. Now there is one difference here in that my bishop will be gone. So queen, queen g4 won't be, might not be able to work, right? No, it still works. It still works. It still works. Yeah. So take and then check. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> the queen is on it. Um, I was going to look at this line and then I forgot. But yeah, he, this line, we just take the knight. So uh, I think that's all there is. I got it. I am on a roll. Holy moly. I have chat open now. Another nine points. Wow. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised. <laughs> so I'm going to update the chat, the title again. What is that? 20, what? 2488. So 2489 now, right? 2489. Wow. 2489. Four in a row. Wow. Look at my profile now. Yeah, so I'm 2488. Four in a row. Got 32 points on the puzzles. Pretty crazy. Look at look at that look at that graph. Look at that puzzle graph for the, like one year. Has it updated? Yeah, twenty four eighty eight. Oof. I've never really done many puzzles. I mean, it says I have, I guess, but is that really a lot in comparison? Maybe it is. I don't know. It feels good to be doing puzzles.